In addition to locking, hiding, or protecting cells, you can validate or limit what data a user can enter. Let's say I want to control the type of values that are in costs or annual increases. I can choose cost of college, and I don't want the user to enter negative number. Maybe I want it to be 20,000 to 60,000. I go to the data tab on the ribbon, and now I go to data validation. So what do I want it to be? Okay, so let's see. I want it to be a whole number, and I want the minimum to be, let's say it can be 20,000, and the maximum 60,000. There we go. And I don't want to apply it to any other cell because this is the only cell selected. Okay, so now I've got the data validation going. What happens if I try to enter something in here? Let's say I enter three. Ah, oh, there it is. So this is the default message. When you enter some cell validation, Excel brings up a default that says stop. The value you entered is not valid. Now, I can retry. So let's say I entered something in the right range. It accepted it. I enter something in the wrong range again. So that's the first step to data validation. Notice I can change that. I can do another cell. What do I want to do? Data validation. And right now we're just using the validation feature. We'll talk about input and error in the next section. But what do I want for the values here? Now this is actually a percentage, but it has decimals. So I might want to allow decimals. And let's say I want it to be between 3% and 8%. There we go. Okay. Now again, what happens? What if I enter zero? Hmm. It says the user has restricted. I always can retry or cancel. So if I enter something really big, I can cancel, and it goes back. So the user can always retry, cancel, or get it right, but the messages aren't very friendly. So this is the very beginning of what you can do to help people doing data entry enter the correct values for your cells in your template or your Excel worksheet. You can select as many cells as you like. For instance, I could select a range, and then I can also do data validation, and I'll say, let's see, decimal, and I don't want it to be smaller than five, let's see, and I don't want it to be bigger than 7.5. And I can do that for a range as well. So that in anything in here, if I try to enter something wrong, as a user, it's either retry or cancel. Cancel always puts back the right value. So this is the very beginning, the most simplest data validation that Excel can do. And that's the end of the data validation in Excel.